Somali word, it means giraffe neck, because they do have a long skinny neck, although if you've ever seen a giraffe's neck, I hope you have seen that today, they have a much more substantial neck than that. Now, what's special about giraffe? Why don't we have buffalo out there? What? Okay, go ahead, Jared. How can they do that, stand up on their hind legs, Jared? I don't know. He's supposed to know that he used to work here. Yeah. 
They can, he does know he's pulling your leg. Garano can stand up because they have a hind uh, hips up. When they stand up, it's straight up and down just like we do. You should see it. It's very crazy looking. Why? Now, why do they stand up? Are they just trying to mess with your head? No, they're actually trying to get leaves. They are browsers. You know, most antelope are grazers. You guys know what grazers are? Those are animals that eat grass. So if you were on the safari, you might have seen the sable antelope or the Patterson Zealand or those guys eating grass. These guys don't really like grass. Of course, they're giving me the line. If you look back there, they look like they're eating grass right now. But they prefer leaves. They're browsers. They're what we call middle browsers. They like to eat the leaves higher up. And to do that, they stand up. You can see there's some banana leaves hanging down from that tree. That's for them. That's to encourage them to stand up for you, which they are not doing. Yeah. Also, unlike most antelope, which lives in live in large herds for protection, antelope live in small groups. So there may be like uh, maybe a dozen of them, a male and several females, and they're young. They're very beautiful. They're one of the smaller antelope. They almost look like gazelles. There's only one other kind of antelope that can stand up on its hind legs. No, I don't know what kind it is. Sorry. And those great big birds that you can see in the distance are marabou stork. It's the largest of all the stork. It's the second largest bird in Africa. Look at you, look at you. They're almost as tall as the saddlebill storks that you saw on your safari, which are about five feet. And they're carrion birds. That means they eat stuff that's already dead. Yummy. They actually have no feathers on their neck. That way they don't get nasty and dirty with them when they're eating that stuff. Marabou stork too, when, they, when it's mating season, they'll make large colonies yeah. of like 40 to 60 of them. They get like a big pile of wood like you see back there and they all nest on it. On the safari, you might have noticed the pink-back pelicans do the same thing. There was that island with the pelicans and there'll be like two or three pelican nests back there. So folks, if you're finished looking at the marabou stork and the garanook and the meerkats, you know what's next, don't you? Last but not least, the big primates, the largest of them all. The western lowland gorillas. By the way, you did learn at the beginning of the trail that they are not monkeys, right? Monkeys have tails. Gorillas do not have tails. They're eight. Don't be calling a 450-pound gorilla a monkey. You know better than that. By the way, my name's Elise. I'm a research student. I'm the one who's been talking nonstop since you got here. But if you have any questions about the animals, and then that includes any of the animals that you've seen on this trail or even the safari animals, because I used to be a safari driver, just feel free to ask. I'll try, try to take a breath every 10 seconds or so so you can interrupt me. I got it. Oh, there's the storms. Folks, if you're just joining us, we're looking at three different species. We're looking at the storms, and 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 we're